20 rounds and it all comes down to this what is going on guys brown here welcome to the title decider of season three of the f1 2019 career mode it's me against verstappen at where it's all gone down many times in f1 2014 the most recent of title deciders and the second season in the row of course for us it all came down to the wire last season we're still in with a shot at the driver's title it's down to this now go out there and come back a champion inspirational words by jeff but it is time we have to win and get the fastest lap to be champion we are 26 points behind Max Verstappen will go on to of course we would be level on points so then it gets into the nitty gritty stuff we'll be going to that in just a second we're going to be starting on the soft tyres go into the mediums and then possibly back onto the softs as well start off with a one soft strategy but we'll see what happens in the race so this is a crucial bit Max Verstappen has seven wins. We have six wins. So if we winning at the fastest lap will be level on wins. So then it goes to podiums, and we also, if we win, will be level on podiums with Max Verstappen. He's on eleven. We're on ten. So it comes down then to fastest lap, and this is where we're strong we have five fastest laps Verstappen has three so we would win the championship on fastest lap point of view this is the grid as we continue through the rest of the grid today we have Gasly, Hulkenberg, Carlos Sainz and Russell Norris, Hamilton, Magnussen, and Sebastian Vettel, Ricardo, Weber, Max Verstappen, they've taken a grid penalty, and Albon, Giovinazzi, Butler, Roman Grosjean, and Valtteri Bottas, Perez, and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. Let's get into it then, as the five red lights come on, we basically have to do the impossible. And we are going in. Abu Dhabi, we've got a good start. We are straight over to cover off Charles Leclerc as Nico Hulkenberg tries round the outside of Charles Leclerc and gets that place in his McLaren. We just need to bolt in this race. Max Verstappen had a poor qualifying. He's down there. We can't afford him to score. All he has to do is get a point and he is champion. So we've built a bit of a gap at the start. There is Charles Leclerc now all over the back of Nick Hogenberg as there's George Russell side by side I think it's Carlos Sainz in the background no sorry it's Pierre Gasly and Lando Norris also having a little look as well he's way way too far back and look at them George Russell down the inside of Pierre Gasly now Pierre Gasly has the inside line and defends into the chicane skipping on now into lap two and Charles Leclerc has had enough of looking at an orange car and he's going to try down the inside into one of the more kind of eventful overtaking places not really one there Nico Hulkenberg's defended it into the hairpin but he's not going to be able to stop the Ferrari now surely Charles Leclerc flies by the McLaren and Pierre Gasly fancies a chance as well and is going to get the McLaren as well he has the inside line that will turn to the outside line Nico Hulkenberg fends him off but now we have the second DRS activation point which isn't of course available yet but that's not going to bother Pierre Gasly because he's going to send it again we uh, pulling out a slight gap from Charles Leclerc look at him side by side for the triple chicane and with the camera's awful here and Pig Gasly does get past Nico Hulkenberg and and now has our teammate George Russell on the back of him skipping on now to lap 3 and Max Verstappen making progress through the field as he gets past Lewis Hamilton there gets him on the exit of the chicane and now is ahead of the Mercedes driver as Hamilton 
defending a Renault there. Not quite sure which Renault. They're side by side for the triple chicane. And Hamilton does get that place and does actually keep that place rather. And it is Daniel Ricciardo. Skipping on now to lap five. We, we're kind of struggling for a bit of pace. And Charles Leclerc has the opportunity to kind of do the dirty work for his teammate. If Verstappen cannot get into the top ten in this race. He's on the back of of us now of course 12 months ago this would have been me against Leclerc and it was that was much more eventful as Charles Leclerc does actually take the lead we are going to defend and push him hard and really kind of be very aggressive getting to the point where if he hadn't have backed out he was there was going to be a crash and now Pierre Gasly is coming at Charles Leclerc and he's going to try his locks up there, tries to go around the outside. Charles Leclerc gives him space, but Charles Leclerc will, by the looks of things, end up defending that position or not. They're still side by side. Charles Leclerc looks to got him on traction and he does defend P2. Now on to lap 6, this is Max Verstappen. He's making progress, he is starting to catch that Alfa Romeo of Sebastian Vettel I think it is in front of him as he goes through the triple chicane and there's yellow flags and that's because Max Verstappen he's slowing down I know the, the Ferrari engine looks to have gone on the final race of the season and Verstappen is pulling off he's out of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix He's not going to pick up any points. All he needed was one point to be champion. And that's all gone down the drain. He, he kind of has to hope on his teammate now. That he can get past us and win this race. That has made our life much, much easier. The safety car is out. And we are going to come into the pits. To put on the medium tyres. Pierre Gasly and... Charles Leclerc follow us in along with our teammate as well so he's going to get held up as well a little bit in the stop but as we come trudging down the pit lane Max Verstappen the one time he needed to just even get a result his engine blows and that has really kind of taken some pressure off of us of course we still have to win this race and still get the fastest lap of course but it's put a lot more pressure just taking it off we now can just fully focus on winning this race and not have to worry about where Verstappen is because of course he's standing on the side of the track somewhere but on lap eight the safety car is coming in and would you believe because they've stayed out Kevin Magnussen is leading this race Lucas Weber is P2 we are P3 Carlos Sainz P4 and then Charles Leclerc P5 so if we can get through these two fairly quickly we might be able to create some breathing space by the time they decide to pit but around the final corner big Kevin Magnussen's bolted and I think he's back to the F2 days as we go straight away around the outside of Lucas Weber. And now Lucas Weber gonna really kind of push us. We're gonna go to the inside, side by side through the F section. Now look at Pete Gasly in the background. We're gonna go around the outside of Lucas Weber and get the job done. Fairly easily-ish. It was alright. We got it done in the end, that's the main thing. And now we can get the hammer down and get after Kevin Magnussen in the Haas. It's the highest place Haas we've ever seen this season, I think. Haas not really being anywhere this season as Pierre Gasly now tries to go around the outside. I don't think Lucas Bill will make it much difficult because the Red Bull, the, very much the main team to Toro Rosso, but. But now as we head down, let's Charles Leclerc side by side with Lucas Weber. I think Lucas Weber's actually defended that. But no, 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 they are dead. Charles Leclerc side by side. Charles Leclerc going to stay around the outside. And 
is up into P4 now in this race and now skipping on to the end of lap 9 I nearly got taken into the pits I wanted to go down the inside of Kevin Magnussen but then he came into the pits and really caught me out and kind of unsettled me for a second but th the pace of that Ferrari has deteriorated and Pierre Gasly's Red Bull has really found pace on these medium compound tyres we defend Pierre Gasly Charles Leclerc now basically carrying the flag for Max Verstappen but going on to the end of lap 10 and on to lap 11 we set the fastest lap of the race so we are doing exactly what we need to do but Pierre Gasly is stopping us from doing that as down the inside he goes we defend to the outside we go very very deep though but we go very late and probably a bit on the questionable side kind of force him off be very aggressive and just about stay in the lead of this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix now skipping on all the way on to lap 18 we managed to pull away from Pierre Gasly and into the pits he comes to make his final stop of the afternoon evening rather and probably final pits of the season he goes on to another another set of the mediums which is very odd and bearing in mind that there is only 10 laps left in this race but he obviously that Red Bull had very good pace on the mediums so it, it makes sense to Red Bull and he's going to come out in some fresh 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 air to push and this kind of forced my hand to go into the pits because I wasn't planning on making a, a second stop I wanted to go to the end on these mediums but then I kind of played around in my head that if if we stayed out and then Pierre Gasly found some pace and got the fastest lap I don't think the tyres would have had the life for me to go for another kind of flying lap and get that back and I would have just been a sitting duck if they caught me at the end anyway so I thought best to pit we can go on to the softs and we're in a much better position than we would be if we stayed out and we ended up being a sitting duck so we are going to come back out back into the lead of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix in position of course as we mentioned at the start of the video it would be level on wins with Verstappen and podium so it would come down to the fastest lap at the end of lap 21 though round the final corner we are going to go even quicker and set another fastest lap of the race but now we are going to skip all the way as we come round the final corner to go on to the final lap we've pulled away from Pierre Gasly Sebastian Vettel's P3 he's jumped Charles Leclerc we can start the music as we trundle round this final lap not only of the Grand Prix but of this season as well through the first sector through the hairpin and let's just reflect on what this season has been the pain of Australia and then the, but the pains of Australia but the highs of Italy, Belgium, Monaco, Singapore and in the last two rounds as well but it all comes down to this we round the final two corners we've done exactly what we needed to do we have done the impossible we are the 2021 world champion you know the drivers world champion the team want to say thanks for a brilliant job this season it's certainly been an incredible year for formula one and our drivers have all pushed themselves this season making it one of the most compelling years of racing in history. There can only be one champion, however, and here they are now, our new Formula One World Drivers Champion. Here they are then, coming into Park Ferme, and an excellent win for the Williams team. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage.
look then at the driver's standings. This also means that there's no catching our leader anymore and we crown a new World Drivers' Champion. Now, let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for Driver of the Day? It's got to be Valtteri Bottas, a commanding performance that I think had the audience's eyes glued to him for the majority of the race. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. And it's another title in the bag for Red Bull. After a long and hard-fought season, They've built an astonishing car this year, and the glory they'll be taking back to Milton Keynes is fully deserved. Well, 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 we've done it. I don't know how we are world champion on fastest lap basis. We are now level on wins with Verstappen, level on podiums with Verstappen, level on points with Verstappen, but most importantly, we have more fastest laps, and kind of in the end what a race that was what a season this was we finished level on points with Max Verstappen and his retirement in that race definitely helped us I think if he had managed to get managed to stay in it and didn't retire then it could have been a different story we actually do what Sebastian Vettel did in 2010 we win the championship not leading the championship until the very last round and Red Bull day back into the constructors are uh, the constructors world champions we'll come back onto the constructors let's go and talk to our best Thanks, mate Claire Bob. congratulations you must be thrilled you're first in the championship. You must be confident about winning it this season. You must be confident about winning it this season. You must be confident about winning it this season. You must be confident about winning it this season. You must be confident about winning it this season. I actually, I no, no, no. I'm actually done. I don't. I cut out Claire's interviews, and this is why. But <laughs> back on, in, we're back into the paddock now. We're about to have a conversation with Emma, our agent, and let's see what she's got to say. Nice job this season. You've been performing well, and that's putting us in a strong negotiating position contract-wise. Plus, my 10% is getting more valuable. So enjoy your break, and keep up the good work next year. Back into the paddock now, we are two-time world champion. I forgot to add that earlier. We have decisions to make for next season but we'll let that come in the next video we need to kind of just enjoy the moment basically what a win it was and what a, what a season it was think back to Australia and now we have the decision of where we're going next season but I'll leave that for the next video I'll leave you guessing but let's just enjoy this moment and come back next season but the Williams chapter is very much over. Goodbye.